I'm still laughing from your comments earlier, <laughs> Andy, but we are inching to the closer of the weekend, so I'm hoping that we have a good forecast in store. That, that story had nothing to do with me since it was adjacent to my weather tees. I just <laughs> want to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed all through the break. <laughs> That's right. Turn the other cheek. That's the bottom line. Uh, we're doing good, Sarah. I mean, with the weekend looks pretty good. The temperatures will be in the 40s on Saturday, near 50 or a little above on Sunday. We're still in a good pattern here for several more days. There's going to be a little more cloud cover in the next 20 for hours, but that's about it. I think we still stay rain free in many locations. All the clouds that are out there right now are just a high variety, so not to bother us here tonight. Our temperatures this morning started below freezing. We got it back into the basically mid 40s. There were some upper 40s around, and again, that's above the 42, so we're doing fine. It's not a big warm up, but certainly mild weather is in place, and we're still above freezing in many locations, but again, tonight, 29 or 30 is going to be that common low temperature. So we will go back below freezing. Uh, temperatures across the region right now are all about the same in our state. When you get on the side of the lake, they're not having the influence of a southeast wind that's coming off of all that snow cover, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York. But uh, certainly uh, some clouds out there to the west are keeping temperatures up a little bit. Now it's all high cloudiness, but that will drift into the region towards the morning as well. What we're really watching is a system. It's the second one of the week. The first one made soaking rains from Arkansas through the Ohio River Valley earlier in the week. This one, look how due north it's headed. But once it gets north, it's going to make a hard right-hand turn. So most of the precipitation goes through Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. We could get brushed by. I'll show you the forecast map in a few minutes. But the cloud cover, that is going to sneak in. And the other low is up north of uh, Minnesota. That one's headed to the east. So we're kind of between two lows. And not really a bad place to be because it's going to be really hard to get a lot of rain to come in because of that. The two lows kind of competing against each other for the air mass. The high pressure will move to the east and we got this south wind going on. The low pressure you see in the, on the screen is really not our main concern. It stays up there and the precipitation stays north as well. But the cloud cover, look how that sneaks in through the day. And then far southern sections, this is right around 5, 6, 7 in the evening, could catch a couple of showers. The middle part of the state may have more sun than clouds and be in between two systems. So we're just kind of nitpicking here. Certainly, if you're south, southern Jackson County, Hillsdale, you see a lot more cloud cover there. But it won't stop us from getting to the 50s. Now, the front goes through in the morning. We'll start Saturday cloudy. But a fair amount of dry air should get the sun to pop back out in the afternoon. And highs will be in the mid to upper 40s uh, because we didn't start out so sunny. We can't reach 50. But there are 50 degree temperatures on Sunday out to our west. A west breeze should bring them in late in the day and we'll get them even warmer and maybe approach the upper 50s going into the day on Sunday. You see the jet stream's got no cold air in place, all mild conditions, uh, just a little more cloud cover. Once the front goes through on Monday, it will start to tap into some cooler weather to the north and we'll find the second half of the month trying to get back on track. Few clouds tonight, all the high variety, around 30 you'll wake up to. Our 1-800-Hanson's Weather Kid, this is Nico from Lansing. Look for increasing clouds in the morning, a shower far southeast, late afternoon or evening. But most of the northern parts of mid-Michigan will probably be just partly cloudy. 53 is your high temperature, the warmest temperature of the week. Saturday's cloudy in the morning, a little sun in the afternoon, 49. A very good looking Sunday and Monday clouds up. We'll reach highs in the mid to upper 50s and then we cool down 43, 45, 47 readings next week. All going to be back closer to normal. It's kind of a cool week next week compared to this one, but it's dry. We continue in on a very dry forecast, Sarah.